There may be an emu visiting a school in your neighborhood soon. No, not the bird, the environmental mobile unit, affectionately called the emu. It's a great way to bring nature to the school instead of busing children out to nature. Not only does it save transportation costs, but this mobile learning lab is a great way to introduce important green concepts to our youngest citizens. What I'm standing in front of is the environmental mobile unit. We call it EMU for short. It's a accessory to our outreach program that we do from Clark Park. We have skulls and skins, reptile models um, of snakes, uh, the venomous snakes of North Carolina. We have other natural history displays in there. Children come in, we explain to them about their natural world. Uh, we try and give them a conservation message to leave with. We do also stormwater issues, we talk about those. A lot of times the, we're fortunate enough to have the uh, stormwater educator accompanying us lately. We also have a display in there about stormwater, but uh, she does a basic education program on what happens to the groundwater going through the uh, storm drains and how it is not cleaned and it goes directly into our lakes and rivers and what effect that has on the environment, people, and wildlife. The purpose of this is so that we can go out to schools who can't come to us because of restrained budgets and uh, restrictions on field trips. We mobilized ourselves and we go to them now and we can do the whole school so it's a really efficient way to do an outreach program. Children get very excited when they get in there and they're very leery about touching because usually you go into a place and they say don't touch, don't touch. Well we encourage them to touch. Um, touch the different furs, find out which one's the softest. We even have a skunk pelt in there. We encourage them to smell it. Um, so we try to use this a lot of their senses as we can. Um, we explain to them um, about how some of these animals, we have a gray wolf in there, how it became extinct in this area, um, and we talk different conservation messages with the animals and their habitats and how important it is to preserve them. And the dinosaurs are very colorful. One of our own rangers, Gavin Shuey, uh, painted them. Uh, the children, especially the young children, get very excited uh, about seeing the dinosaurs and a lot of them know exactly what type of dinosaurs they are and we talk about them. Some, one is being a meat eater and one is a plant eater, so we get to do a little bit, talk about herbivores and carnivores and just branch out from there. Well, we hope that it sparks an interest in wildlife or that they can come away with some type of a conservation message. We just like to at least light a spark. We have a tree knot in there with a mirror behind it and the message is for them to look through that and see what the most dangerous creature in the forest is. And so some of it, it they, they don't think they see anything, the younger ones, so we try and get them to figure out what they're looking at and then they they tend to understand. We explain to them why people are the most dangerous creature in the forest and they get it. It's important for children to learn about their environment because if they don't understand it, they won't be an advocate for nature when they're growing up. If they don't learn a little bit about it and it's important. When it's time for them to vote on issues or to be the ones conserving there, there, there just won't be an interest in it and we will lose it. So we're hoping to at least spark an interest in the environment and in conservation. Children have a lot of influence on their parents. Uh, we teach the children about the storm water issue and uh, how important it is. Uh, so they correct their parents. If they see the parent washing the car on the driveway, we tell them, well, wash it in the yard. Uh, so that the water gets absorbed and doesn't go down the storm drain. And when a child corrects a parent, the parent tends to want to do the right thing. And uh, so children do have a big influence on their parents. If someone wants to schedule the environmental mobile unit, they just need to call Clark Park Nature Center at 433-1579 and uh, we will 
uh, tell them the specifications we need. We can't go everywhere, <laughs> obviously it's a, it's a large um, vehicle. So we uh, tell them what our specs are and uh, try and work with them the best we can. And in the spring, they need to call early because in the spring it's very popular. If people are interested, please call us at Clark Park and it'd be better for you to come down to Clark Park Nature Center because we have a lot more in the Nature Center than we do in this 24-foot trailer. So we have live animals, we have alligators, snakes, turtles, and fish. We have a lot of hands-on displays and we're free. So come on down and visit us.